So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add contact buttons and action buttons to your Instagram profile. So we are on my Instagram profile on my Android phone and the buttons we are talking about are here. So you've got this contact button here, but there's actually two sort of sub buttons underneath it. So there's the possibility of people to call me here and they can also email. So that's how it's displayed, but it's more of a, a button if you are a visitor to my profile. So we also have the book now button. So if I select that, that goes straight through my appointment booking system. And you'll see that I'm using the appointee app for that. So there's a number of third party apps and services that Instagram are connected with. And so you can create buttons that directly connect to the service of your choice. More of that in a second. So first of all, to have these buttons, you do need a professional, sometimes called a business profile. So let's just have a look at how you select a professional profile or to confirm that you do actually have one. So we need to drop down to settings here. Then we need to go to account. And if we scroll to the bottom, you'll see that it says add new professional account. So that kind of confirms that I've got an existing professional account. And if we click switch account type, you'll see it says switch to personal or switch to creator account. So if you do want a professional account, you can switch to that from here. And you're not committed because you can always switch back again. So that's the first step. Then we need to go back to the profile and click on edit profile. And if we just drop down here, you'll see that we've got contact options and we've got book now. So first of all, the contact options. So within this area, you can put in your business email address, you can put in your phone number, and you can put in your business address. So I've chosen just to put in Cardiff here, but you can put in your full business address if you wish. Also, it's worth noting that on the phone number, if you'd rather have text messages than calls, then you can select that and switch to text. So once you're happy with this information, you can click on this uh, tick symbol here and everything will be saved. Final point to note is that if you wish to share this information with your Facebook page, you can do that. So that's how to set up your contact buttons. Next for the action button, you will see that I have got a pointy set up here. So if we click on that, then the specified action is book now and appointee is the app but there's plenty of other appointment booking systems that you can link to and similarly if it's appropriate for your business then there's a number of options under the order food action and also under reserve so let's have a quick look at those so here are the order food options and here are the reserve to make a, such a, make a booking at a, at a restaurant, for example. So once that's uh, all done, you can click on the tick symbol there. Click on the tick symbol once again, just to confirm everything. And then your buttons will appear at the bottom of your profile, ready for potential customers to select. So that's how to set up contact and action buttons on your Instagram profile. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more skills by watching short videos, please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And if you'd like to continue your learning journey with NILC, please visit us at nilc.co.uk. See you next time.